So you don't have to know me very well to know that my favorite drink is a dirty martini. Today, we are going to be making just that, but we're going to be calling in a very unexpected ingredient. The only ingredients you'll need are Castelvetrano olives, feta and its brine, vodka, and dry vermouth. So before we get into the martini, I always want a snack with my drink. So some nights that's potato chips or roasted nuts. Today we are going to be doing a two ingredient fritter. This was one of my favorite recipes from the first year of the column. It's actually going to be like a reimagined version in my cookbook that's coming out in October. So what I have here is some quinoa. We started with half a cup, cooked it in a cup of water, added a bit of salt. And now that it is fluffy and warm, we are gonna add our cheese. And the residual heat from the quinoa is just going to melt in all the goat cheese. I'm just gonna help kind of encourage it with a fork and break up the bigger cheese pieces. Mm, do you smell the cheese? It smells so good. So at this point, I'm just gonna taste it and make sure that the salt is on point. Mmm, I don't think it needs salt. I think it's really good because once we fry the fritters, we'll hit it with a little bit of salt afterward. So this is perfect. Now I'm just gonna let this sit 10-ish minutes. This way the mixture can kind of firm up and set. And in that time we can work on our martini. So dirty martinis became really popular in the 1990s. Usually it's olive brine, that's the dirt but it could also be like a cocktail onion brine. These days you'll see a lot of pickle brine martinis, but today we're not using any of those. We are using feta brine, which is that kind of milky, cheesy, salty liquid that comes with a block of good feta. So cheese stuffed olives, also like a very favorite uh, garnish for a martini. Usually it's blue cheese, but today we are going to be using these chunks of feta and stuffing them in some Castelvetrano olives. This is too big. I got too ambitious. It's too big. I want to make it smaller. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. A little extra cheese. It's a happy olive. So I'm just doing two feta stuffed olives per drink. So sometimes what Justin and I will do is I'll have two olives in my drink. He'll have one because he doesn't like olives as much as I do. And then you can keep track of whose drink is whose. Yeah, it works great until we start eating the olives. Yeah. The classic martini is made with gin and almost always, almost always, I prefer gin. But if I was having like a, like a pickle martini, vodka is my preference there. Cause it kind of like the pickle has, the brine's got a lot going on. The vodka kind of stands back. It doesn't have all the botanicals of gin. Same deal here. The feta has like a big personality. We want to let the feta brine shine the vodka is gonna let us do that so i am doing a ratio of two vodka to one dry vermouth this is contentious right the the original martini one to one a lot of people like that in the summer it's actually really nice because it's a little bit more refreshing and less like it won't tank you but let me know in the comments what ratio you like let me know if you're a gin or a vodka person i want to hear so we are doing, making two drinks. So two ounces of vodka for each. And then one ounce of vermouth for each. Now we're at the most exciting part, the feta brine. So I like to strain this. I'm probably gonna have like a tiny bit of some cheese chunkies, cheese bits, uh, cheese pieces, whatever doesn't sound bad. I'm just gonna strain it out before I measure it. This way my drink is, um, you know, as clear as possible. The thing with a dirty martini is that it's never gonna be as like uh, clear and pure looking as like um, something that doesn't have the brine. So that's okay. It's gonna be a cloudy drink. I just don't want it to have all of those bits in there. So for each drink I am doing three quarters of an ounce. So like a little bit less than the vermouth. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here. And now we are ready to shake. Cheers. Cheers. 
Cheers. This is so good. I olive brine is like um, it's like very salty, kind of like vinegary. The feta has a mellowness to it that I really love. The creaminess kind of like softens and rounds out the drink. And I love that the feta stuffed olives are like a built-in snack. So good. Okay, so now all our drinks are very, very cold, perfectly sippable. We are gonna finish up our quinoa fritters. So I'm just forming the quinoa goat cheese mixture into like heaping tablespoon size patties. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's also very flexible. Like if you want, uh, you know, like a bigger patty, if this is gonna be your dinner, do that. If you want it smaller, do that. And then just cook it until both sides are golden brown. So it's really flexible. So our fritters have been cooking for like three to four minutes while we are waiting for them to finish up before flipping. This is a perfect time to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notified every time we have a new big little recipe. That looks good. Perfect. This is our feta brine martini and our two ingredient cheesy quinoa fritters. This is my new favorite drink. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it and I will see you next week.